Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video on the View into Hux World. Yes, we're back with another video and this one is going to be awesome. This is an accessory review for the Galaxy Watches, right? Now, when I say the Galaxy Watches, it's not just for the Galaxy Watch 4 or the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, but for the Galaxy Watch 3, the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Watch Active 1 and 2, and also the Gear Sport and the Gear S3. Now, as you see down at the bottom, it's only for Samsung fans, right? Samsung smartwatches, that is. And then this has a 14 milliamp hour battery. That's right. This is a power bank for your smartwatch. It's wireless. There's no cords needed. This is an awesome unit. Now, I will be leaving a link in the description box down below for you guys to go check this out. I do get a small kickback. When I say small, I mean very, very, very small. But if you want to support the channel, then by all means, do so in the description box down below. All right. With that being said, let's get started with this review. Now, I'm liking this unit simply because I don't have to take my charger out the house anymore. I can keep this, right? But let's go ahead. Let's take a closer look at this. Uh, and let you see what you're going to be in for when you purchase this unit. Now, these are the instructions. Uh, it comes in six different languages. I'm going to tell you right now, you are not going to need any of this, right? This is easy to use out of the box. Not bad, right? This is the actual unit. This is your power button right here. This is going to deal with your charging. We're going to talk about that in a second. And this is going to go on to your key ring. Yes, this is light enough to go into your key ring. So you can take this anywhere you want to go. All right, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. You got your adapter for your charging, a USB. And then you have what was a ring, right? Now, for whatever reason, I broke it trying to set this up. Now, I don't know if it was me or because this was cheap. I'm not sure, but it broke. I couldn't figure it out. But this is not a deal breaker because I got stronger key rings on my keys, right? I'm just going to slide this on, take it with me wherever I go. Now, I am going to do a separate review on this before we begin the review. I want to find out actually how long the standby time is going to be, all right? So we're going to have a part two to this. Not only that, I want to do a, um, a test on how long it takes for you to actually charge a smartwatch and also how many charges will you get out of this unit, okay? So give me some time. I'm going to do a review on that. But Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at it, right? Again, that's the power button. This is where you're going to put your smartwatch, which is awesome. There's nothing on the back. Very smooth. This cap right here comes off. And this is where you're going to charge this into your laptop. And you're still going to be able to charge your smartwatch up at the same time. So you charge the unit, you charge your smartwatch, right? Now, if you're going to stick it into your tower, that's not going to work because when you stick it into your tower, it goes in that way, but you will be able to charge it. Now, this here, right? Because you can use your charging brick from your uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra or your Galaxy Note 20 uh, Ultra or S20, and you can plug it, plug it into that power brick in order to charge it. But if you don't have that, then go ahead and use this adapter. This can go into your your laptop, if you don't have USB Type-C, you have an older computer, then you can put it in the regular USB slot, which is going to be awesome, right? Let's put this over to the side really quick. Now, this is really lightweight, right? I mean, when I say light, this is really light. So having this on your key ring, like if you're going to be doing a road trip, it's going to be awesome. Again, you can leave this in the car. You can put this in your pocket. Ladies, you can put this in your purse. Now, again, this is a 14 milliamp hour battery and you all are wondering, well, how many charges am I going to get out of this unit? Now, that's all going to depend on where you're charging from. Are you charging from 80 percent, 50 percent? 30%. Are you charging from zero? It's going to depend on how many charges you get out of your smartwatch, right? Now, out of a smartwatch like the Galaxy Watch, which has a way bigger battery, you probably are going to get, I don't know, maybe a charge and a half. Again, I'm going to do some tests and I'm going to come back with that information so you guys will know how long it takes to actually charge uh, the Galaxy Watch 3, the Galaxy Watch 4 uh, Classic, and hopefully the Galaxy Watch as well, all right? So with that being said, charging, charging the unit is going to take you anywhere between two hours to two and a half hours, right? It does have a battery meter. Uh, it changes green to let you know whether you're in, in between 60 and 100. Uh, it's going to charge, it's going to turn blue when you're charging into in between 
30 and 60, and then in between 0 to 30, it's going to be red, right? So those are going to be your meters. I actually like this unit, again, simply because I don't have to bring my charger. I don't have to bring the wires. I could just take this, and I could charge two smartwatches up, mine and my wife, and then recharge it again for the next time I need to use it. So I like this. This is definitely an awesome gadget uh, to have. Uh as an accessory for your Galaxy Watch. Again, this is a power bank and it is wireless. So what do you guys think thus far? You think it's gonna be a good buy? You think the price is gonna be right? Remember, the link is gonna be in the description box down below. Now, one thing I need to let you know is that you just can't set the watch on here and it's gonna turn on. Now it's gonna be like any other power bank. You have to hit the button to turn it on. And once you do, it's gonna go ahead and start charging, as you see. Now this is the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Let's check out the Galaxy Watch 3. Nice and quick, not bad. Just center the watch. Now the Galaxy Watch, let's see how long this takes. Now, remember, this has a bigger battery. It's a bigger watch, so it sits on here a little bit different, but it also charges, right? Not bad. This is still my boo. <laughs> so I like this, right? And remember, you got the Gear Sport you can put on here. Uh, the Gear S3 is going to work on here as well. This is definitely an awesome unit. Again, I can't stress how lightweight this is. This is going to be a keeper for me. I will keep this for road trips and things like that. But what do you guys think? Is it a buy or not? Again, check this out, right? Hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this review, on this unit. Let me know if you're going to go check it out. All right? That's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And if it was, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Smash that notification bell and make sure you subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life. Have some fun, you all. And remember to remember to always be safe.